Hey there, I'm Jeanette Lane, a craft designer at Craft Stash, and in today's video we're looking at paper trimmers and guillotines. I don't know if you pronounce it guillotines. Living in the UK, I hear guillotines a lot, but I grew up saying guillotines, so let me know in the comments how you say it. If you have a moment, would love to hear from you. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at these different uh, paper trimmers and guillotines and looking at the similarities and differences between both. When I was a beginner crafter, I didn't know the difference. I didn't really even know that I needed a paper trimmer, but it's really great if you want to make your cards look even and symmetrical and very uh, crafts, like just improve your craftsmanship. So let's look at each of these tools. Paper trimmers and guillotines come in a wide variety of sizes as well as different brands. So we have a uh, paper trimmer here from Woodware, a uh, paper trimmer from Tonic, a guillotine from Tim Holtz for Tonic, and then another guillotine from Tim Holtz for Tonic as well. And as you can see, these are all different sizes. There are so many <laughs> for you to choose from, different brands like I mentioned, and also different sizes. But I want to say the most common size are the 6 inch and also the 12 inch. And I know these don't look like 12 inches, but these do cut 12 up to 12 inch uh, paper. Now the main difference between paper trimmers and guillotines is the cutting motion and how they cut. So with paper trimmers, you slide your blade. So there's a blade here underneath this protective plastic piece and you cut your paper by sliding motion. So this one as well from Woodware. And with the guillotine, you use an up and down motion to cut with your blade. So if I turn this over, you can see that goes up and down. So a guillotine goes up and down and then a paper trimmer slides up or down to cut. Now again, a guillotine, you cut with your blade up and down in this motion. You wanna be very careful because those blades are sharp. And with a paper trimmer, it's a sliding motion, up and down sliding motion to cut your paper. Each of these cutting tools has a measuring guide here at the top and on the bottom. So here they are. And these are both in centimeters and inches. Now along with the measuring guide, the surface of these is kind of textured and it has a grid across it so that you can know exactly where to place your paper as you're cutting. Now let's take a closer look at the paper trimmers. So these two paper trimmers can cut up to 12 inch cardstock and they're both for right-handed people and also lefties. So you can turn these upside down if you are left-handed as well. And so for both of these paper trimmers, they have this extension piece here that pops out and makes it so easy to cut your 12 by 12 cardstock. And you wanna make sure when you are purchasing a paper trimmer that you look at the product listing and see if it has this extension here at the bottom because some of them do not. So I love the tonic paper trimmer because it has an extender, extender at the bottom and at the top. But for the woodware one, this one also has a little extension, measuring extension, but it's only at the top you can still achieve very accurate cutting with the woodware, but just be mindful that it only has the extender at the top and not at the top and the bottom like the tonic trimmer. Now this little plastic piece here, this that I'm lifting up and down, this holds your paper in place as you're trimming, but it also houses your cutting blade. So these are these blades are usually detachable and they just pop out. So this is the detachable blade for the tonic trimmer. And if I flip that over, you can see that little itty bitty blade there. It's tiny, but it can do some damage, so be very careful. And once this gets dull, you will notice it by how it's cutting, by the quality of the cuts on your cardstock. It'll start to not be so crisp and clear, and you'll get kind of like a frayed edge. So that's when it's time to replace your trimmer. And again, these just pop on and off really easy. Now the woodware trimmer blade is a little bit different but still replaceable so this opens up. You just snap it open and shut and your blade is inside and it's housed in this plastic casing so it, you can run your fingers all around it. You're completely fine and then you pop it back inside and when you're pushing your hand down on the paper, just naturally pushing down to cut, that's when the blade pops out. So let me show that to you. And I'm just going to put some, angle this better, sorry. So I put some pressure there and the blade comes out. 
Now the thing I love about paper trimmers is that they also double as scoreboards when they come with the appropriate scoring attachment accessory. Now for the Tonic Studios paper trimmer, we have the scoring attachment. So if I flip this over, there's a little metal here, but it's not sharp. It's just enough to score your paper instead of trim it. Now the woodware trimmer also comes with a scoring attachment, so you just open up the plastic where the blade is housed, where it lives, <laughs> and it'll say a scoring instead. It'll say scoring instead of straight edge, and that's how you know how you can tell the difference. But it just pops in, and it'll be the same thing. It won't have that sharp edge, and you'll be able to score your card. So this is the tonic trimmer, and I have my cutting blade there, and also my scoring blade. But you don't have to have this one attached. You can just pop it off, set it to the side in case it's in your way. Now let's do some cutting. So I'm going to start off with this A4 sized piece of blue cardstock, and I want to trim it to six by six inches. So I'm just going to slide my paper down. So here's my paper lined up to the six inch mark, and I want to make sure that my paper is up against that beveled edge securely. And I also want to make sure that it's lined up on this line here, this six inch line that goes along the side, and there's a grid mark here. So you can see that clearly. So once it's lined up here at the six inch mark and also along this line, because it is possible to line up your cardstock at the top at the six inch mark, but then kind of do this, this angle here, and you will get a crooked piece of cardstock, which, <laughs> which you can use, I guess, for your scrap pile. So you wanna make sure that your paper is pushed up against that beveled edge, lined up here at the six inch mark on the top of this measuring guide, and then also along the edge here along the surface, this little grid um, mark on the surface of your cutting pad. And then you just slide your paper trimmer upward, put a little bit of pressure onto it. And there we have our six inches. Now I wanted a six by six piece of cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is rotate my paper horizontally and I'm going to lift up my blade Make sure that when you're putting in your paper that you're sliding it right through, sliding it right through your uh, paper trimmer, that you're not putting it in here in this little slot. That's for the blade. Don't put it there. Now as we're sliding our paper in to the six inch mark, be mindful, make sure that your blade is not there. You always want to make sure that it's out of the way. And we're going to line this up to the six inch mark here. We want to make sure that this side is on that straight line, so that six inch mark. And we wanna make sure that our paper is pushed up against the beveled edge. And then we slide and trim our cardstock. And there we have our six by six piece of cardstock. Now I wanna score this down the center. So I'm going to put my scoring blade on. So just pop it in. And easy division, six divided by two is three. So I'm going to take my cardstock and line it up to the three inch line. So I'm making sure it's lined up there at the top and also on this side here on that three inch line mark. And then I'm gonna take my scoring blade and just go across my paper. And it didn't cut, <laughs> it just scored it. There you can see that score line and now I can easily fold my card. Now the thing I love about paper trimmers is that you can start cutting at the center of your card, which is something that you can't do with a guillotine. And let's say I want to cut from the center to the top at the three inch mark. So I'm going to line this up at the three inch mark here and make sure that it's lined up along this left edge here and also that it's pushed up against that beveled edge. And then I'm going to slide my blade. So I'm opening this because if I slide it while it's closed, it's going to cut my paper. So I'm just going to slide this to the three inch mark and there's a little arrow here that'll show me exactly where that measurement is. So there's the three on this plastic ruler that's printed on, on the a blade holder. And so what I'm going to do is now close my paper trimmer. So there it is at the three inch mark. Push it down and then trim. And when I open this up, you can see that cutting point is right at the center of my card. And this is a lot harder to do on a guillotine. Now let's take a look at the guillotine and I'm gonna be working with the Tim Holtz for Tonic. This is the six inch guillotine. Now the thing about guillotines is that the blades are extra sharp. So you wanna be very careful. And I think that's the main difference between a trimmer and a guillotine is the blade sharpness. 
so you can cut thicker cardstock and you can also cut more pieces of cardstock at a time. With paper trimmers, you kind of want to stick to one just to make sure that you get a nice clean cut. But with uh, guillotines, you can cut more than one piece of cardstock at a time. And again, the same thing we have that measuring guide at the top on the surface of your paper trimmer and also at the bottom. All right, so let's get to cutting some cardstock. So this is a piece of navy blue cardstock and I wanna trim this down to three inches wide. So I'm going to open my blade up. It's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna slide my paper in and measure that up, hold that up to the three inch line at the top. I wanna to make sure that this is pushed up against the beveled edge, but that it's also lined up at the side. Now the big thing with guillotines is that the paper can shift as you're cutting. So as you're cutting down, as I'm gonna push the blade down, sometimes the paper slowly moves to the side like that as you're cutting. And this is just, this is normal. But what you wanna make sure to do is to use your finger guard and hold down that paper with a fierce grip so that it doesn't shift as you're moving the blade down. So my paper is in and I'm gonna hold it down with the finger guards. And then I'm just gonna take this blade and push down. And we get a nice clean cut. So here is a piece of cardstock that I want to cut because I want to show you what happens when you don't use, when you're not holding down your cardstock, what can happen. So we're gonna open up our blade, slide our paper in to the three inch line. I'm gonna hold that up to the edge, make sure it's lined up at the top and on the side. So we're looking good there. And then I'm just gonna bring that blade down. So when I bring it down, you can see the paper starts to shift. It's no longer lined up along this edge and it's not, I mean, it still cuts, but it's gonna be wonky. So you wanna make sure to use this finger guard to hold down your paper so that it doesn't shift. So this is the Tim Holtz for tonic 12 inch guillotine. And you're like, wait a second, that's only six inches wide. Where's the rest? So if you flip this over, here is the extender and you just pull that off. And then that pops in here. So you're sliding that in until it clicks and then you have a little kickstand, like a ruler kickstand. And there we go, it's nice and secure. Now you have a 12 inch guillotine. All right, so let's cut something with this guillotine. So I'm going to grab some paper there and I'm gonna open this up. Be very mindful of this blade. It is sharp, sharp guys, so always be careful. Make sure that you know where that blade is at all times because you might just even nick yourself. All right, so we've got our paper and I wanna trim this down to nine inches. So I'm just gonna line this up at nine inches. And here I have my finger guard. This is different than the other uh, smaller guillotine. So I'm gonna hold that down, hold that paper down. And then we're just gonna bring our blade straight down. So sharp, so precise, so crisp. So now I wanna trim this to eight inches. So I'm gonna cut just this little tiny sliver off. So we're gonna line that up to eight inches just so you can see it cutting a smaller piece of cardstock and you can see how precise and sharp that blade is. Look how thin and straight these little strips are. Amazing. So I wanna cut some more quarter inch strips. So I'm gonna move down my paper just a smidge. Let's go to seven and right now my paper is at seven and three quarters so i'm going to go to seven and a half inches so i'm going to wrap my paper in hold down my paper with my finger guards and then just bring my blade down we have these little tiny strips i'm going to push my blade all the way down and we have those little perfect strips of paper when you're done with your guillotine, you always wanna make sure that the blade is securely down. You don't want to leave this open because you can nick yourself and that would be pretty. So always make sure that's closed all the way down. And now that we're done with our guillotine, just pinch these sides here on this extender, slide that out, close my kickstand, flip this over and slide that little extension extender into its little slot and also this handle here, this handle comes off. And it also has a little home underneath it there. Isn't this guillotine great? I love the little uh, storage on the bottom and also this little tray here. It's like a little paper 
put tray in case you want to put in any little bits while you're cutting. Now if you're wondering which one to get, whether the trimmer or the guillotine, I really recommend both. They're both pretty affordable. You can find some affordable brands, especially on the Craft Stash website. But on my in my personal stash, I have a 12 by 12 paper trimmer, as well as a six by six guillotine. And I really end up grabbing both, reaching for both every time that I'm crafting. I feel like the guillotines are so much more sharper and you can cut cleaner, crisper edges. But also the, the paper trimmers are so versatile because you have that scoring option again if it comes with a scoring attachment with which most of them do so both the guillotine and the paper trimmers are great i would love to know what you have in your stash if you already have maybe you have a whole collection of guillotines let us know in the comments we love to hear from you we want to know what's in your personal stash and which you prefer and there's so much more that can be said for paper trimmers and guillotines and different things that you can do with them but that's for another video and everything that I used, all the trimmers that I shared and the guillotines that I shared today are available on the Craft Stash website where you'll find heaps and heaps of inspiration and how-tos. I'm Jeanette Lane and I'll see you very soon.